Hello and welcome. In uh, this video, we're going to talk about how we would go about dynamically changing the our time slicers to reflect the current time period. Now, in this video, I'm going to work on year and month. You can use this, the similar concept for quarter or any other time period that you're working with. L let's look at what, what I mean by dynamically filter it to the current year and month. Now, right now, as I'm recording this video, we are in uh, October of 2021. When I publish this report, I select 2021, October, publish it. Now, once we move into November, I want this report to uh, default the month to November right, of 2021. I don't want to download the report, change the default, publish it back in. I don't want to do that process every month. And then eventually, once we roll into 2022, I want the year to default automatically change to 2022, and then month to January and so forth. Now, how do we go about doing this? Let's uh, let's start by looking at the date table, right? because everything is driven by the date table here. Now, I have a simple date table, date, month, year, month number, and year, month, which is YYY, MM column. Now, the first thing I would want to do is find out what my date today is. And based on that, I can uh, then, uh, figure out what my current month is and so forth. Now let's uh, start by adding a few uh, columns to this table. All right, I've added a few columns here. Let's take a look at each one of them. Now the first column I added was today, which is basically today's date. It's, uh, I'm recording this on the 19th of October, 2021. And then from that column, I derive the year. Now, of course, all of this can be done in one step. I'm just breaking it down into multiple columns. So it's easy to walk through the steps. So I get the year. This is my current year. And the last step that I do uh, create here or last column that I cr create here is current year. Now what this is, is this does is basically compares the year of, of this row. The, for example, here it's 1114. So the year is 2014. If 2014 is the same as 2021, then I, uh, I uh, populate it with current year. If not, I populate it with the year that is from this column, the year column. Now notice that I need to format it because year column is of type whole number. Uh, and in the current year column, I'm using text. So I need to format the year column as a text as well. All right, so once I have this, now I can go into the visual layer here. Now let me replace the year slicer here, uh, slicer with the year with current year. So let's swap that. Now you see the current year comes up. Now as the, when we move into 2022, current year will be 2022 and automatically it will filter down to 2022. So using the value of the current year, I can dynamically filter it. So when I publish the report, I can pick current year, publish it, it automatically filters it down. Now let's do the same thing for month as well. Okay, so I've added a couple more columns to follow the same process for month. I've created a column called this month, which is basically uh, the current month formatted as YYY, MMDD. And then uh, I create another column similar to current year. I'm comparing this month with the month of, uh, of this particular row and which is this year month num column. And if both of them are equal, I call it current month, if not, I just copy the value of the year month number or replace it with the value of year month number. Now that we have this column uh, ready, let's go back to the visual layer, replace the month slicer with current month. Now I have all the values that I need. So since it's filtered for 2021, current year, now I've got all the values. Now, since it's uh, not sorted, I'm getting current month as the last column. So let's um, sort this current month column. I'll go to the data view. I just like to sort it in the uh, data view, just my preference. Um, so let's sort this by year, month, number. Now I go back to the visual view. Perfect. I got, I, uh, I got current month in the right spot. Uh, now once we roll into November, uh, 2021, 11 will be the current month. I don't have to go back and do anything, it defaults. So I, I, I think it's a, this is a really cool feature that I use a lot, a lot of my uh, reports uh, default to the current time period. Hope this helps you as well. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below and thanks for watching.